G'day all. Uh, this video is a bit of a response to those who say that Cobalt B's weapon is trash, uh, an instant skip, or that she's just plain bad. Because she's not. Uh, some people say that I'm huffing copium when I say that, but I'm telling you, at A6, she's pretty wicked. And so there is truth behind the saying that she's whale bait and that she requires a fair bit of investment before she gets going. But if you do put that investment in, she's pretty good. And I thought the easiest way to demonstrate this would be to quickly knock over the bygone phantasm floor that I'm currently on, film it, and upload the unfiltered results. I'm just an average player. I'm not a pro by any stretch of the imagination. I don't pretend to be. I make mistakes. I'm not that great. So what you'll see here is what a player of average skill with average to below average gear should expect from a Cobalt B that's at max advancement. So a six star Cobalt B. Um, I am running Cobalt B with a three star King and a two star Nemesis. I'm using a mix of both SR and SSR matrices. Um, so no whaling on that sort of stuff. Um, just a, a mix of some stuff, some set bonuses, some non-set bonuses. Uh, my crit is only about 35% and my flame attack is at about 11.5k. So not exactly spectacular stuff, pretty average all the way around. In other words, she gets better than what is shown here and what we've seen here is already pretty decent in my opinion. So anyway, let's jump into floor 289 of the Bygone Phantasm and see what an average Joe player can do with an A6 Cobalt B. There you have it, floor 289 cleared with relative ease by an average Joe with average gear. Whilst there are no doubt better DPS units in the game, and there will be better DPS units coming to the game, uh, to say that she is bad, that she should be an insta skip, or that she is just utter trash is obviously not true. That should have at least proven that, I think. Her skill, which is called Barrage, packs a punch, does well against shields, her dodge attacks hit very hard. Her Iron Scorch ticks for a lot of extra damage, especially over the course of an entire fight. And she does AoE content really easily, as you should have noticed by all of those red numbers that were flying up at the screen everywhere all the time. Uh, on top of that, she's just way more fun than the spam left click gameplay that Samir was offering me. Uh, I can't wait to team her up with Ruby once her banner drops in a week's time, where she will take the role of sub DPS, feeding burns and Iron Scorches to Ruby for her to ignite. Uh, that fire team is going to be a lot of fun, I reckon. And I'll tell you what, I feel sorry for those who skip Cobalt for Ruby, as a lot of people seem to have done, um, as the two together are going to be insane. Insane not only in fun, but insane in the damage potential that they're going to have. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this.
and maybe I'll see you next time.